I'm really happy about this uh, meeting and I'm thrilled about the initiative that we will have an opportunity to announce um, uh, in, uh, in a bit. Uh, you know how much we value uh, our relationship as a country with TUI. I was looking at the numbers, uh, almost a million and a half uh, visitors you brought to Greece, uh, out of which I understand 600,000 um, came to, to Rhodes. Uh, and um, uh, we, we worked very hard to save our tourism season uh, last year, and I think we did a very good job. Uh, as you know, we were at the forefront uh, of launching the EU Digital Certificate Initiative, which ended up being a, a huge uh, success. Uh, but uh, we want to look into the future, and of course we have um, uh, consistently made the case that uh, um, uh, our new tourism model has to be uh, sustainable, and I know that this is a big uh, focus also um, uh, for you. So I'm particularly interested to find out more uh, about um, uh, this uh, initiative, the CoLab project that uh, we will be uh, launching uh, today. I'm very happy that you're partnering um, uh, with uh, the Prefecture of uh, Southern um, uh, Aegean, Mr. Haji Marcos, and our Mayor of Roads, uh, Mr. Kaburakis. I can tell you that. Uh, um, they have been uh, at the forefront of innovation when it comes to our tourism uh, product, and I think they also understand the challenges and opportunities looking into the future. Uh, as you know, we have the capacity to mobilize significant uh, public, um, European, but also private funds um, uh, to turn our product uh, um, uh, towards a much more sustainable uh, direction. We've already taken uh, initiatives in some uh, smaller uh, islands through the um, uh, Greco uh, initiative. Uh, I think especially on the smaller islands, we really have an opportunity to move very uh, aggressively um, uh, towards a carbon uh, uh, neutral uh, environment. And I am absolutely convinced that uh, um, uh, this uh, initiative is in line with also what your customers, the people who choose Greece, uh, as a tourism destination uh, will uh, will seek. So uh, I think this is a this is a ch challenging but also fascinating forward-looking uh, proposal. Uh, it will have the full support uh, of uh, uh, the government at uh, the highest level, uh, and I'm very keen to find out more as to how we will uh, um, uh, implement it. So let me ask Vasilis uh, to say a few words, uh, then pass uh, the floor. Um, uh, to um, um, uh, the prefect and the mayor, and then turn it over to you. Good morning from me. Real quick, uh, uh, it's a key uh, fact of the strategy and the priorities of the prime minister administration to uh, pr produce and in light, uh, in all aspects, a uh, sustainable model of, uh, of, of our tourism. And we're glad that uh, this happens with uh, Mr. Haji Marcos, with the mayor, with uh, Rhodos Island. Uh, you, you understand that we, we rely on you as, as strong partners and uh, we want to see a, a consistent cooperation with you and we are both just on what we're going to do March, April, May and then September, October, November and December. You were there with Condor in Rhodos, uh, November and December and we respect that. Uh, uh, what, I, what I want to say is that uh, uh, we're number one pole position this year. We expect good prizes from you and good offers to our hoteliers. You will have great cooperation uh, f f from us 24-7. And this is the model that Kyriakos Mitsotakis and our administrations want to uh, frame in our in 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 strategy. And we will implement it starting from uh, Rhodos. I'll, I'll see you again tomorrow. I'm so excited to be at the Prime Minister's office and uh, having uh, all the support from uh, the Prime Minister is actually the biggest, uh, uh, the biggest power we can get to make uh, this huge pro pro uh, project a reality. Uh, there's a fundamental principle uh, that governs all the policies in our region is that the future starts today and, and, and we really, especially from whatever we suffered in the last two years, uh, we really want to work uh, uh, the best we can for the future that we believe we, we can challenge. Uh, we faced huge difficulties, but we're proud to say that uh, in our region, at the islands, we came out stronger uh, and we, we have more confidence uh, and also more determined to, to, to succeed also uh, in the future. Uh, well, tackling the challenges ahead of us is a rather complex task. 
and uh, we understand that no one can do it alone. So uh, having this big alliance with the leader of the global tourist market, such as TUI, I believe that exceeds the narrow limits of the common faith in a project. It's a vote of confidence for roads, for the, uh, for the islands, for, the, uh, for our region, but also for Greece. And uh, with the support from uh, the Prime Minister, who inspires us uh, and, and, and led the way through this very tough two years that we all suffered, uh, I'm absolutely uh, certain that there is a very prosperous future ahead and uh, I'm looking forward to, to start implementing this wonderful project. Thank you so much for the trust, Mr. Yusin. And uh, I want to thank the Prime Minister also for his uh, trust and his uh, support. A few words for the Mayor. <laughs> uh, I'm very excited. I'm uh, really very excited of being here with, uh, with you. I have to say this is not coincidence. Uh, this is because of uh, the governance and uh, the leadership of uh, Kyriakos Mitsotakis, our PM, that uh, pushes us to go up, to go further. Um, we are with a leader, international leader, global leader of uh, tourism. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Yusen. Thank you very much, Mr. Lerbeck, uh, for supporting roads and supporting Greece. And I have to say that we have to work for the next decade, the next years. Sustainability, it's a must. The 17 rules of uh, um, international, um, it, it makes us, under the governments of uh, Mr. Mitsotakis, go roads even further. Uh, an island of two and a half million arrivals per year has to go better in uh, communication of uh, the society, of the local administration, and of course, uh, the professionals. Thank you very much. We look forward. But last year we brought 1.5 million customers to Greece of 5.4 million. So you, you were over-indexing significantly uh, in tourism. And the reason for that is your great, um, your, your great crisis management. Protocols were in place, very front foot, and this was all destinations. This was all destinations in Greece. And already this year, we believe that we will over-index and over-achieve pre-crisis levels. So our planning this year is 3 million customers to Greece. We believe Greece will be above pre-crisis levels and you will be a winner of the crisis. If you don't have economic and social sustainability, you will not achieve ecological sustainability. If people don't know how to participate in global wealth, if people don't know how to feed their children, if people don't know how to have a decent earning, they will not take care of, 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 of the, their surroundings. I've, uh, I've uh, studied the presentation, so I, I'm aware uh, of, the, of the specifics uh, of what you intend to put in place. Let me just uh, uh, quickly react uh, uh, to your very uh, insightful uh, comments. First of all, it is important to point out that in the United Nations sustainability goals, we do not just talk about environmental, ecological sustainability, but also about social and economic sustainability. In our case, tourism is the single most important job creator um, when we look at uh, the sectors where Greece can be competitive. Uh, and this is certainly the case uh, in the islands, uh, particularly the case um, in Rhodes. Uh, and we do intend uh, uh, to continue investing uh, in tourism and make sure that it will create uh, good jobs uh, for the local community for as long as possible during the year. I do want to stress that it is one of our key priorities uh, in our long-term tourism strategy uh, to extend the season. And we do think that uh, 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 many of our destinations uh, including uh, roads, have the capacity to also attract visitors outside the summer months. Greece should not just be a destination you come and visit uh, in the summer to enjoy the lovely beaches. This, of course, is always going to be uh, a very important aspect of our, uh, of our strategy, but we do want to decrease the dependence of the third quarter uh, in terms of our overall tourism revenue. So, in that case, your, your assistance in terms of 
um, providing accessibility to our tourism destinations in cooperation with the local uh, communities which need to work to expand the offerings um, on the ground is particularly uh, important. And an island such as Rhodes, which is a big island, uh, has the capacity to attract uh, visitors outside the summer months. There are many other very interesting things um, um, to do, even, uh, even, even in the winter. There's always this logic, you know, if you build it, they will come. Who, who makes the first move? Is it the flights? Uh, is it the hotels that will stay uh, open? The answer is we need to work uh, in, uh, in cooperation with uh, the local authorities and make sure that we, uh, we offer a, a product um, that is uh, um, uh, attractive for people who would like to travel to Greece outside the summer months. This is particularly important and of course this is not just uh, relevant for roads. There are many other uh, destinations in Greece uh, that can offer year-round accessibility, you know, be it city breaks or even Greece as a winter destination. Uh, yesterday in the New York Times there was a full page, a full page uh, of the best destination in the world for spring skiing, and it was Crete. I'm sorry, um, though you don't have mountains in roads, I do come from Crete, but it was stunning. I, I know because I, I do mountaineering skiing, and I, I always said, how come um, this is uh, still, uh, you know, a, an undiscovered jewel? But to be able to tell your visitors, for example, that you can visit Crete in March, and at the same time be on the mountain and the sea the same day, it really diversifies. Um, your product. And if you add um, uh, to, to that component uh, culture, um, uh, sustainable uh, eco-tourism um, uh, um, uh, and the ability to offer uh, numerous different experiences uh, in various destinations, I think we have the, the package to really be able to sell, quote-unquote, the country uh, as, as a, a year-round destination and, of course, to also include you know, the, the component of the cities and the city breaks, not just Athens and Thessaloniki. Uh, I think we can position ourselves and, and, and work with you to expand the scope of the, of the product offering uh, regarding Greece. Uh, my, my second observation is that what we're trying to do uh, in Rhodes is, uh, is challenging because we're talking about a big island. It's easier to do it on a small island. Uh, when we talk about a big island with existing infrastructure, uh, it, it becomes more, um, uh, more challenging but also more, more interesting. Uh, I want to express my full confidence uh, uh, in the regional and the local authorities. I've, I've worked uh, with, uh, with Yorgos and with Andonis. You have the best possible partners in terms of making this, uh, uh, in terms of making this work. Uh, and of course, as you, uh, as you know, there are, uh, uh, the regions will have significantly more funds uh, available in the next programming um, uh, period. And uh, uh, you know, he's happy about that. We also helped uh, in, in that direction. But there is always a, a breakdown between important public investments that need to take place and, of course, then the private initiatives from the private sectors, but also the involvement of the local community. So uh, we have significant funds available um, to support this. And, of course, also through the RRF, um, the green transition um, is, is, is important and we intend to create a, you know, a separate fund for all the islands of the Aegean to be able to, for the local um, uh, communities and the municipalities to participate uh, in projects that will all have uh, um, uh, a, a particular focus uh, on sustainability. But uh, uh, in, in roads, we feel, we feel comfortable that we have uh, uh, a, a regional and local authority of the highest quality, but also a, um, uh, a uh, uh, a combination of very innovative private entrepreneurs um, uh, who have really been successful in positioning the product of roads uh, ahead of its other uh, Greek competitors. Uh, yeah. I frequently tell my, 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 my friends in Crete, look at what Rhodes is doing. They are, and, and, and we, we've, we welcome this internal competition uh, between the regions because we all need to uh, learn um, um, from, uh, from each other. Uh, and uh, my third observation is that, yes, coming back to your initial point, I do think that Greece will be one of the winners of the pandemic. As you said, the pandemic was a tragedy, but it was also an opportunity. And I think we have uh, demonstrated that uh, if you have capable um, central 
policy making with quick and clear decision uh, making that uh, uh, addresses the challenges of the day, does not send confusing messages um, uh, to the market uh, and especially the big players, uh, you can benefit from what is essentially a crisis. And we, w we do want you to increase your overall uh, uh, exposure uh, to Greece. Uh, and I don't think that it will be difficult for you to sell Greece to your customers because there's a broader narrative uh, uh, that goes beyond tourism. I think Greece is a country that is clearly turning a page. It's leaving behind a decade uh, of, 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 of crisis, of, of, of pain, and I think it's a, it's a country that is really looking to embrace the challenges uh, of the future. So uh, uh, we always like to work with uh, the global leaders in all sectors that have an interest in investing in Greece or bringing business to Greece. And I want you to be certain that we can have that level of uh, uh, communication, not just at the level of the ministry, but also at the level of, of my office. And we will work uh, very hard uh, to make uh, this, uh, this project uh, a success.